Thomas Rostefer Parry. Matthew Stevenus Boyle. How the devil are you doing, Tom? We're here with some Nitro Plus Blasters Heroines Infinite Duel. Yes, uh, a game which I recently reviewed for BlastProcess.com. Me and Matt are just going to have a little bash in it today and show you the game in action. How marvellous. Indeed, yes. Thank you for Marvellous for bringing this game over to us because it's it's really rather good. Yeah, uh, as um, you can see there, made by Examu, the people who made Arcana Hearts, uh, based yeah. on visual novels by Nitro, uh, a Japanese company. That's Nitro Plus Blasters. Yeah, Infinite is... Ter- Duel is born. Wonderful intro. When I first put this... Well, I was going to say when I first put this in, I didn't actually you play didn't. it on the disc. But um, when I first saw this, I was like, yeah, I like the mood. This is This has got me. Anime ladies it's playing not just rock the music. It's, okay, um, that's good. <laughs> really, there's a lot more to it. The overall atmosphere of the game is very cool. It's a very well presented game, and uh, it pleasantly surprised me because my interest in these sort of games had been waning, and, and this one really did uh, bring it back for me. <laughs> well, I mean, we are both fans of the Arcana Heart series, and it's kind of got a bit of that melty blood vibe to oh, it nice. name checking all the yes uh, i am classics, uh. without it really going full arc systems works in my experience <laughs> um there's not a lot of well there is a little bit of guilty gear in it but we'll get to that in a second yeah, yeah let's let's get out of this anime intro and get into some gameplay i'm sure this is a million things of people watching okay. this here's intro. all your options uh story on the story versus score attack training network gathering option all pretty self-explanatory other than another story which will not after you finish story which is a lot, a lot of talking in that one matt yeah a lot of talking much uh, like a visual novel i yeah, would assume far too much in my opinion but if you're into that sort of thing then uh, i'm okay with visual novels they're not too bad i, I did find the the story rather incomprehensible <laughs> okay, fair enough. But I mean, I guess this is a, a game all about the fan service, mm. so... Yeah, I'm sure you'll get even more out of this game if you do know the characters, but it, they're a cool bunch regardless of if you know who they are or not. Yes. Uh, this character is familiar to me from uh, the Fate... Fate Stay. Yes. Uh, this is a character I'm playing as recently, uh, Al. He's okay. an evil version. Uh, Great. You fight at the end of the game. He's rather tough. I'm going to play as Sonico because... She fights yeah. with ki- with I, kittens. Yeah, and and this is your um, assist characters here. So you can pick two assist characters, which are placed on the uh, L1 and L2 buttons, and you can call these in at various times to help you out. A little bit like um, Marvel versus Capcom. Yes, very much so. Um, yeah. They come in as strikers, right? That's the term. Not yeah, we, we debated this uh, recently. Uh, <laughs> I don't in know. In Marvel versus Capcom, yes, they're called strikers. I think we're. It just yes, let's keep with the known terminology instead it of inventing our It sounds cooler, it does. strikers and uh, assist characters. But anyway, here we go. The gameplay is reasonably similar to, I guess, Marvel's Capcom. Ha-ha! Um, Eat my cat! But you have, a one, you have one-on-one uh, fights. Oh, man, I really can't remember. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I don't actually attack anyone as this character. It's a bit different to most things. I'm just going to send my hordes of cats at you. Um, like that. so that's one of your blaster attacks that sort of uh, powers you up for a short amount of time man I can't remember how to play this we actually played this for a bit last week um, and unfortunately the recording got lost <laughs> there we go I've brought in one of my my super duper people oh, oh you're not pulling that special, off on me the special attacks are really quite um, impressive when I managed to pull one off they usually involve some kind of you know. small anime cutscene as well yes now we didn't. Uh, oh, there was one of your uh, cis characters there. Yes. Was it not? I didn't use one last round. Sometimes I forget they're there because there's quite a lot to look at <laughs> on screen. Just to keep track of. Oh no, because she comes back. Yes, yeah, she does. Uh, oh. Haha. That was one of yours, and then followed by a blast attack. Oh. Oh, am I gonna anime cutscene you? Uh, oh, not that time. No. Not this Apparently time. not. There's a weird thing where you have to keep hitting buttons when you're doing these combos. Which is good. I'm just going to box you in a corner and keep uh, doing the same that's move. That's very naughty. I know, I'm really cheap. I'm sorry, but I don't want to lose. Yes! Giant anime robot! This, this is, is what I'm this talking is about. This is just a uh, striker attack, uh, so to speak. Yes, it is. Oh, I did it again. You. Looks like, Matt, you've got this one in the bag. I like all never the dashing, uh, all the air dashing and uh, gymnastics uh, in this particular game. You, no, Who it's stands a, like that? 
anime characters. <laughs> yeah, apparently. <laughs> this game is rather accessible if you're not familiar with fighters. As even if you just know a few moves, like if you quarter circle moves, you can apply that strategy to most characters and you can get a, a cool move out of it. Yeah, like that. That like was me hitting the triangle punch. button and a quarter circle. Yeah. You've got a. Th I think it's pretty much uh, three sort of main attacks. Yeah, so it's just uh, like medium and strong. You've also got this. Uh, Man, I can just keep juggling you with my cats. Another attack that you power up that's on X. Um, if you hold the button down for a certain amount of time, you get an even more oh! powerful attack. Come on! That was beautiful. There we go. I got you a trophy. Oh, thanks, Matt. It's all right. Yeah, I've collected a few trophies on this game so far. Yeah, most of them seem to be linked with a character's special move. Uh, yeah, that's right. If you uh, use a special move as a finishing attack uh, with a character, you'll get a trophy. And there's one of them for every uh, character in the game. Uh, let's try this one. I like Saya, but I also like... Is that Ayn? Is that how you would say Ayn, that? yes, Ayn. Uh... She's very cool. She's uh, got guns. Yes. <laughs> um, she's the most useless support character in the world, but I'm going to go, where is... There we go. I'm going to put Sonico, just because her support thing where do is you fight? a band, please. Um, let's fight in the really lackluster alley, because then we yeah. can talk about how bad these backgrounds <laughs> are, which is probably yeah. my only qualm of this game. That's it. Uh, other than the rather dull uh, Another Story mode... <laughs> To you. <laughs> this is the low point of the game for me. Uh, unfortunately, the backgrounds don't have a lot going on in them. Um, there we are. I like this girl because not only is she creepy and made of blood, but she also does some Akuma style moves. There are some layers going on in the backgrounds, but uh, there's no movement in them, which I think is a bit of a shame because it could have added a bit more life to the game. I totally agree with you. Although there's plenty going on in the foreground. Yes, uh, there is. No qualms there at all. Some very complicated moves, actually. Yeah, and that's the great thing about this game. It's accessible, but it's got depth. That's what everyone's been saying about it, and I can't um, agree with that enough. Some it's button clicking going the on best, from us. For me, the best fighting games are the ones that are easy to pick up and play, but have that extra depth and strategy I mean, to let's them. be honest here. That's why Street Fighter is such yep. a large hit. Here you go. Here's my band of Sonic, um, and she's going to boost you, so I need to get you out of there. That's a cool thing, yeah. If you stand there, then you, you can either get the power-ups, but if the um, opponent stands in front of the band there, they I'm can gonna also... I'm going to get shot for the sake of this cool anime. Oh, oh no, I tried. I wanted the cool anime cutscene of me getting sniped. Maybe next round. That's the thing. You, you, some of your special attacks can backfire, um, and you can get hurt by them. So th there is some strategy there as well. Ooh. Oh, I thought there I hit go. you with that then. But going back to Chris's. what I was saying about uh, accessibility, uh, I think Soul Calibur is a good example of that. Because uh, that game is very pick up and play, oh, but there's know. so much depth to it. I never got into Soul Calibur. No? No, I, I, something no about it's a three, 3D game. Something about 3D fighters doesn't really do it for me. Tekken was the one of 3D fighters that I always find the most accessible. Uh, really? Yeah. Because Tekken's effectively 2D fighter. Isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> but I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Whereas Soul Calibur really is a true... 3D fire. I mean, let's be honest, you neither run a Zero Divide, so... Ah, yes, we know your love for Zero Divide. Oh, man, I love Zero Divide. Right, okay. Oh, where have I gone? Oh, me. I'm just going to uh, go shoot go. you. Zero. Very cool. First look how over the that, top was, that is. Uh, and look how much health that impressed. actually takes off. There's a risk-reward thing to most of these character yeah. actions. It's pretty cool. Grand. Okay. Any more to say, Thomas, about your review on BlastProcess.com that you can check yeah, out you right can... now? Oh, thank you, Matthew. No worries. <laughs> yeah, head over to BlastProcess.com and there you can find a full review of this game. We'll go into a little bit more detail about the various systems in play and the different modes and uh, why I think this game is super. It is very, very good and I can't stress that enough. It's on my to-buy list anyway. Yeah. It was even before I'd played it, but now I'm... Very eager to purchase it. I think it's a very I, it's good It's a game. game that I really just want to play more of. Now, I don't want to stop playing this, Matthew. I know. Well, we can continue, Thomas, <laughs> but we let the people at home go buy it. Okay. Um, yep. 
if you've enjoyed this, then check out our podcast. It comes out every Sunday. It's called Tom and Matt Attack. And you can also find, as I said, Tom's review of this game on BlastProcess.com. See you very yeah, soon. Yeah, see you again. Everybody, Happy game gaming. On.